Hey there, dear YouTube audience, and welcome to a new playthrough on my channel. I'm, of course, the one that loves you all there the most. It's the Love Giant! And we enter into my absolute favorite jump and run franchise of all time, Spyro. This time with the reignited trilogy, as you can already hear. Now, back then, in obviously my gaming career started with the SNES, but I played the most, obviously, on the good old PS1 back then. Love Metal Gear Solid, obviously, as you can also see in on my videos and on with this one. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, my absolute favorite game of all time, but Metal Gear Solid, amazing, and my absolute favorite jump and run platformer. I think probably third most favorite game is the Spyro Trilogy. First game that I played out of the trilogy was Spyro 2 back then. And then I think I played Spyro 1 and then Spyro Year of the Dragon. I remember that at the end of the life cycle for the PS1, I actually got that for Christmas. I absolutely loved it as well, obviously. And way back when, I played the original PS1 games on my channel in German. And then when the Reignited Trilogy dropped, I obviously played through 1, 2 and 3 on the trilogy version in German. Now that everything in my channel is basically in English, what is the best thing and the most logical thing to do? Obviously, that is to be playing the Spyro Reignited Trilogy completely in English. And we're also going to do a little bit of a twist because I'm going to be completing 100%, 120%, whatever it is in the, in, in the particular game, um, to completion. You know, 100% or 120% every single game. And what I didn't do for the German playthrough was getting every single skill point in every single Spyro game. So we're going to be playing the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We're going to be playing, we're going to be playing Spyro the Dragon. Then Spyro 2. <clears throat> in Europe, obviously, it was called Gateway to Glimmer. But obviously now it's uh, Ripto's Rage, the NA version. And then, or the NA name. And then we have Spyro Yi of the Dragon. And... In every single game, we get every single skill point, we get every single gem, every single dragon, every single egg, every single orb, every single... I think that's pretty much everything that you can collect in these games. We're gonna be 100% completing every single game, so that is gonna be a task because we have three games in front of us and we're gonna starting off with the first one out of the trilogy, which is Spyro the Dragon. And without further ado, let's go right into the intro and then... We're going to be starting off with Spyro the Dragon. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Oh. 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 Huh? Looks like I've got some things to do. And so, my friends, it begins. Welcome to Sparrow the Dragon. Let's fucking go. We have Nestor Rotsen. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Beautiful. That's been a while ever since I played this, actually. It, oh, it looks so fucking clean. Okay. So we are Spyro, obviously. If you don't know how it works, basically, we can jump. 
we can glide when we press uh, circle that has changed in the other games um circle no if we the triangle then we just stop mid flight i can show you that looks like this we can spew fire and we can give the enemies the horns They're, those are the basics and obviously they have been improved upon you have like more stuff in the other games but we get to that when we get to those games obviously our goal is to but well, we have dragon eggs that we can collect we have these little crystal the crystals these little gems that we can uh, collect and obviously dragons to rescue as he said we go also to different worlds we need to rescue 10 dragons in this first world and then we can go to the next one if we do wish so but obviously we're going like for a completion we get all of the gems, all of the dragons, and all of the skill points. And speaking of skill points, they have been kind of hidden in the PlayStation versions back then. Like, you only knew where they were and what they were when you found them, which is kind of a stupid concept because, you know, it's fucking stupid, obviously, if you don't know what you need to do in order to get that. So, here, we can just push, let's not select, uh, is it guidebook? Oh, yeah, skill points. And we can see we have three... Well, two pages of skill points, like reach a tricky platform that is an artisan world. And here we have Stonehill and Town Square. Those are the first, those are the levels that we have. And there, are, there is one skill point for each. For Stonehill's burn the hidden pink tulip. Gonna have to find that. And Town Square all balls stuck. And also we have a hidden level here, which are the flying levels, which I hate them with all my might. They have made it a little bit more clear. Like back then, you didn't know that that was actually a thing. But now they gave you a little bit of a hint that there might be something when you push all these uh, buttons. We have the portals here that, give, that bring us to different worlds. We have Stonehill, Town Square, uh, one back here. Um, I think that's all, actually. And then we have, obviously, uh, in the back here, we have also Toasty, which is the, the boss. In order for, for us to reach the boss, we have to find a certain amount of... Gems? Question mark. Not entirely sure. We're gonna go with uh, Stonehill first. It's kind of like, kind of like the easiest map, and it also gives you an introduction to the third type of collectibles. As you saw, we have gems, we have dragons, and in Stonehill, in some levels, also in some overworlds, you also have some egg thieves. So I can show you that real quick. And we have Argus Sugra. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Okay, so in order for you to get to the boss, basically we just have to finish one level, and we're gonna do that also when we have L1 and R1, we have this little Dutch roll that we are probably never gonna be using. Uh, but that's that, yeah. So we have Stonehill as the first level. Let's fucking go in. As I said, it's probably the easiest one. Gives you introduction to also other collectibles and this is what we can do while the game loads we can just roll a little bit that's when we use l1 and r1 spew fire go round and round a little bit and then we're gonna get a little dip as soon as the level loads because it takes for it takes a, it takes a while for some reason here we go going for a loop and here we are in Stone Hill. Gee, that guy looks so fucking good. Loving it. My Toys for Bob outdid themselves. And we had a skill point here. Yes, burn the hidden tulip. I know I did all the skill points because I have the game 100% completed with all of the achievements. Including, obviously, the Steam achievements. Uh, these enemies, we can either ram them, which was the one that you saw. We can also burn them. Some are invulnerable to our... Um, like, you can't... You know, give them the horns. Sometimes uh, they have, like, metal armor, so you can burn them. So you have to give them the horns. These ones basically take both. And we have, like, different passages that we can go through here. Let's go to the through the middle, which I think actually just brings you to the end of the level. Which we can, ju can just do. We can just end the, lev end the level if we want to. This is another collectible. We can find that, which gives us... Um, Another level, uh, another level, another guy, another spiral. And we have Astor Rotza. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. <laughs> It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. <clears throat> no thanks. See ya! 
Later. <laughs> and down here, we have a little bit of a secret. Because it's all like a well in the beginning um, of the level. And there is a chest in there. And this is the key for the chest. This is also, as you can see, there are a lot of metal. So I can't use the fire on them. So I have to give them the horns. And in Spiral 1... Water damages you, as it does usually in jump and run. Spyro can't swim. In Spyro 1, however, he learns that in Spyro 2 and onward, obviously. Uh, Sparks is our, like, the little, um, dragonfly that you see is obviously our health indicator. When it's yellow, we can take up to four hits. Another hit, a first hit, yellow, second hit, green, third hit, gone, fourth hit, we are dead, so... We have a little bit of time and we can also... Every level has critters. Usually it's sheep. We can just burn them or give them the horns. They spawn a little butterfly. Sparks eats it and we are back one health state. And here's the treasure. We unlocked it with the key that we found. Here was a couple of gems. And here we have Gavin. Nivag. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When ah, there we go. He eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. Right. Goody. So we're gonna see if we're gonna do a no death run. Probably impossible, considering we have like levels like Misty Bog and stuff like that. But we'll see. Misty Bog, tree tops. I think it was... No, it was treats and treetops. Treetops, yeah. Those are levels that might give us a little bit of a problem, but other than that... And also the flying levels. But other than that, I think we're gonna be fine. Right, Lindar? Ratnil? When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful <laughs> if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. It's like I'm fucking Nestradamus in their asses. Goddamn. I am predicting what they are saying. Uh, as you can see, we have we already rescued five dragons overall. We have two more. That's seven, and then we basically only need three more, and we could also go to the next um, overworld, which gives us access to more levels, obviously, which would be peacekeepers in that one or in the first one. Also, when I press L three, you see uh, sparks or dragonfly homing into the next. A gem in the level, which is definitely helpful because obviously it's a collectathon. You want to find all gems, and Sparks ha just has that in, in the Reignited trilogy on all three games. They just have uh, Sparks just has that ability from the get go. I think you have to unlock it in Spyro 3, but it makes collecting and finding everything just that much more easier. Like you don't have to scour the entire level to find the last gem. You just make Sparks home in on the next uh, possible gem. To find. Right, Gildas? Sadilg. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. All dragons found. Our cue for us. And uh, how many do we have? We have 200 gems. We need 30 more. Gonna do a little glide here and let's see. Probably this way. There should be the egg thief. Uh, also, this is a yeah, <laughs> this is a hidden wall, so we can't proceed through here. But if I remember correctly, there were some gems on the outskirts here that we have to collect. Obviously, don't see the egg thief yet. Uh, we also have some gems here. Wait, 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 wait. The, the tulip was somewhere. There's the Egg Thief. Ah, there it is. That's the Tulip. For the skill point. Okay, so this guy basically runs away from us. We just have to keep up with him and then we give him the fire. If we try to cut him off, they usually go the other way. So they are really fast. Oh yeah. Still kind of easy to get him. I mean, I played this game for a little bit, you know what I mean? Like also the originals. And as good as the remakes are, obviously, Reignited Trilogy, like Toys for Bob, fucking love you guys. Um, this Reignited Trilogy also has sold, I think, over a million copies or something like that. So, you know, good on them. That's how many people thought, like, um, before, like, the anniversary stream that they are gonna, like, tease Spyro 4, maybe? 
because they are feeling confident because they said like over 1 million um as good as it is the the, the, the controls are not as like perfect perfect as the original ones but we're gonna see that in uh in later games uh where are we at okay a couple more sparks lead me to victory Ah, oh, it's up there. Okay. Uh, let's go up. I it might be also on the other side. We're gonna see. And you see that little spiral icon on the top right? That means game has been saved. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, we see all the different um, gems. They have, like, different... Do they have different shapes? They have in Spy ever since Spyro 2. I don't know if that has been... Also changed for Spiral um, 1 here in the Reignited Trilogy, but they also have different values, obviously. We have um, the red ones, these ones, which are 1, green is 2, blue is 5, gold is 10, and purple is 25, which is like the highest value you can find. And we got it! 200 out of 200, we have the skill point, we have all dragons. 100% completion, and we can leave the level. We can just do it like this, exit level, but I think... The proper way to do it is to use the thingamajigger and return home. And we successfully completed the first level. We can do that in uh, Spyro 2 and 3. Yeah. Because of different, like, kind of things that we have to get first. Um, when we go into a level and we already killed these guys and we kill them again, they drop these little orbs. You see that on the top right where, where our... Um, our lives are also ca counted, and when we collect a certain amount of those orbs, then we get a, we get uh, another another Spyro, another guy. Um, oh yeah, I think this one was called Dark Hollow. I think we're gonna do that next. Awesome level, awesome awesome vibes in that one. Uh, we don't have any. No, we don't have any skill points here. So here's Dark Hollow. Let me check if I. Collected everything here in this sort of maze. That's a that's a maze I can find myself, you know? Like that's 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 my kind of maze. Okay, so we enter Dark Hollow. And I think we leave the boss for last. And uh, Sunny Flight, I'm just gonna maybe do that off camera, I'm not sure. Because I think. They're also bound to skill points. I know that some Spyro 2's flying levels are. I know that much, but not sure for the first one. Here we go. Yeah, this level is... Look at... Look at this! Ah, Just fucking beautiful. Okay, these guys, we have basically have to give the horns, so we just wait a little, a little bit until they attack. And you can see, how they attack, and they are open for the fire thing. Fire attack. We have another treasure here, just like there was in Stone Hill. Oh. Okay. You're gonna be like that then, eh? Okay. Gotcha. Nope. No, don't stay too close. Okay. I was gonna say, don't, don't stay too close for too long. What are you gonna say, Albin? Nabla? Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yeah, or I just made up the attack and then flame them. That can also be a thing. God damn, you know? You can say whatever you want, you know, but this game just fucking looks gorgeous. Fuck! And obviously also it just feels nice. It feels a little bit floaty. Not gonna lie, the controls. Okay, now. Not a big deal. So these guys we can just flame from behind. Ooh, that's a five... That's a five, uh... Gem. That's a big guy. Actually, he doesn't even attack. He just bounces us back, basically, and that's that. So yeah, at the beginning there, it's, it's, it's easy. You know, the levels are pretty straightforward. The enemies are pretty straightforward. Not too complex, not too hard. Pause. But... Obviously, that increases. And that's what the game is made with the Unreal Engine. Like, just goes to show you, like, what kind of different games you can actually make with this engine. It's insane. Oswin! Nivzo! 
Spyro. Want to know a secret? Yeah. Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Right. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Hell yeah, you just told it to a couple of more guys, but sure. Yeah, which is basically this, so we can look around. Also, obviously, they changed the controls to make it a little bit better for modern games, aka... In the old games, you had L2 and R2 to basically... Um, actually, let me see. Now to disable that. I mean, you can enable it, I think, uh, for nostalgia purposes, but uh, L2, R2 basically just shifted the camera around. With this one, you just have to right stick, which was not utilized in the original Spiral, which doesn't make any sense. But yeah, you can look down, up, left, right. I think I have it inverted. Yeah. Well, no, I don't. Nah, I do. Never mind. <laughs> you can also... Oh, we can cancel the animation. Don't have to, it's quick anyways. Okay. Just wait a second, then line them up. There we go. We can also light up this fire for a little bit more aesthetics. Uh, in sp uh, starting from Spyro 2, um, the enemies weren't um, gems, they were actually particles. So the way you actually gain lives is by roasting 10 critters in the level for sparks to eat. Then you have like this little blue magic butterfly that basically shows up and that's how you gain lives there by burning 10 critters per level because they respawn after you've gone for gone a little bit further in the map or in the level i'm uh, not sure if it's also here and by the way these things you can't farm lives these things are only there once when you re-enter the level they are not there anymore so it's a valuable resource these little life things wait he strikes Three times, yeah. Oh, hey, no, nah, nah. there you go. Easy. They fucking outdid themselves. I'm not gonna lie. Like all the light lighting and stuff. I think we only have 100 gems, yeah. And one more dragon. Uh, rest of the treasure could be here. Darius Suirad from Runeterra. Big enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame that should defeat them. You tell me that at the end of the level, Sus, my friend, Sus. Like you're testing me. Ah, uh, we're missing one. You know that's that's the thing. But now we have sparks that can just lead us to the thing. Otherwise, we would have just needed to go through the entire level. Oh, it's up there? Let's see. Kinda doubt it. Maybe it's on the other side. Yeah, it is. But elevated. So apparently I missed something there. According to Sparks. Ah, true. Got him. 100 out of 100. We have all the dragons. No uh, egg thief in this one. So that's not a collectible. We have no skill point here, so we successfully did it. For the next one, obviously for the next level, which is going to be Town Square for us. I mean, we could have also gone Town Square first. We could have gone with this level first, so that is completely up to us. Um, but yeah, for us, next one is going to be Town Square, and then we have probably the flying level, and then Toasty. And then we have completed the first overworld. Now oh, wait, this is a little tease there. That is toasty. I'm gonna see about this guy. Because there's a twist behind him. But yeah. So we have Stonehill cleared, we have Dark Hollow cleared, and now we're gonna go here. Have another dragon. Right, we're gonna get him when we come back. And we have a Gem Thief, which are only available actually in the first overworld. That's a teaser for money bags in the... Jesus. In the other... Uh, from the other Spyro games. <laughs> to and onward. You see this guy? The hell do you think you're going? What the, what the hell? I was just trying to meander away there. Not on my watch, my dude. Goody. 
Alright, I think we got everything here, so... Let's go up. Uh, we have 100, yeah, we have 100 in the overworld, we have two more dragons, one is there. The other one is somewhere else, so now we have Town Square. And we have a skill point here, which is charge every bowl. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. If you flame the bulls that you're going to see, they die immediately. If you charge them, <clears throat> um, I think you get the gem, actually. And they are basically unable to attack. But, but they are stuck in the ground, which is kind of cool. So you're going to be seeing that. Music, obviously. Sick. I think they have actually also remastered it. Well, it has to be. First dragon. Neil Niles Slim. Slime? Mm. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. That neck though. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right <laughs> stick to get a good look. <laughs> Up there, yeah. That's a nice sculpture. So here we have the bulls, so we just charge them. And then they are incapacitated. Can't do anything there. And we have to charge all of them in order to get our skill points. And also, another type of chest, they completely neglected that in uh, Spyro 2 and 3, so you're only going to be seeing that in Spyro 1. Also, there's an Egg Thief up there. Question is, how do we get there? You're going to see that in a, in a little bit. And here we have Devlin Nilved. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Pause. Do you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? You don't say. <laughs> the thing is, I, I, I read that in the document, or sort of documentary for the Reignited Trilogy. The thing is, they intended to only have one dragon, the one at the beginning. And they just wanted to swap colors, but then the artist basically went crazy and made, like, um, different sketches for dragons. And that's why every dragon looks completely different. I fucking love it. It definitely adds a lot more personality to each of the dragons. I think that just wasn't possible with uh, the original Spiral, because PS1 has, like, limitations. But yeah, they definitely went all out for this one. And actually, they still, as you see... All of the gems have one shape, the exact same one, like the uh, like the one value gem. But yeah, they change shapes also in um, Spyro 2 onwards. I want to see if actually we can get um, also a level by eating like 10 butterflies. The thing is, in the original Spyro, um, Spyro 2 onwards, you know, when you eat 10 butterflies, as I said, you get like the purple blue butterfly and then you get a level up sparks had to individually eat every single um butterfly here we have like five ones i think at once and he just eats them and gets them all which is definitely an improvement so you don't have to wait as long and egg thief i think i could have just flamed him there oh i think he changed course Wait. i mean i overtook him in the in the air but i don't know I hear him. Oh, he's down. Why are you? Did I bug him out? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't think he's supposed to be there. I think he just changed like the direction mid-air, and that's why he ended up there. That, that's okay. That's interesting. I'm gonna leave the bolts. Just not gonna bother with them. And I think he actually respawned up there. He did. I think I can flame him right away. Probably. Hey, see this? Weird. Well, I'm gonna take the take care of the gems first. Okay, he doesn't care. Skill point acquired, that's all of the bolts charged. Oh, 10 value gem, the first one. Another kind of chest uh, that they made obsolete. 
And we have the last two dragons here. One is Thor. Rot. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. Pause on that. And the last one in this level. Elvar Revla. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief no. and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> the effort, goddamn. So that's all dragons, all... almost. Almost all um, gems. We're missing a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> Completely smashed into the wall there. Just hug the right side. Where the... okay. I didn't... I mean, didn't make sure that the thief just got back up here, so... I have to go stoop down on his level. I think he just glided up last time. Got him. That's how you cheese it. Okay, where is where are the where where, where are the drugs going? Again? Up there you say. Okay. <clears throat> Let's chickity chickity check ourselves before we before we wiggity wag ourselves. Okay, I saw, I saw one. That's a five. So rest actually might be up there. Jesus Christ! Getting too high up there. There we go. Rest. Okay. Apparently also up here. Ah. Uh. Might be all of them. Yep. 200 out of 200. 100% complete. <laughs> every dragon, every gem, and the dragon egg, and the skill point. That is a job well done. Just for measures. We can charge him as you can see. And we return home. And next up. I think I'm going to do the flying levels because they're a little bit different from the regular jump and run levels that you are that you've seen so far. So it's a little bit of a mix up, but mix up that they definitely could have just like left out because I actually hate them. Tell them I hate them, to quote Fansworth from Futurama. Well, that was almost good. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Let me get some of these orbs so I can also show you the level up. And yeah, value from these is actually also with the three um, red gems. It's just like three orbs, which can help you accelerating the level gain. Thomas Samot. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Uh, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Right. <laughs> nice. Also, awesome awesome uh, choice for voice acting, obviously. Like, Spyro, uh, Spyro, uh, Spyro's awesome. Um. Oh, look at that glow. Lovely. Um, okay. We have one more dragon here. The last one in the overworld. Delbin Nibled. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... Nice painting. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Nice. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. All dragons found. I, I got this game. I forgot. Like, I've, last time I played it was actually for YouTube. And when I was actually sick for like an entire week and I got did like all the achievements. Ah, this game. This game though. Fucking toys for Bob, you know. Mwah. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Fantastic job. Could have done without the load times here, however. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty much about it. And also, you know, I'm gonna make some tier lists for this one. 
mainly for Spyro 2 and 3, so be on the lookout for that. That's also why I'm why I chose to Um Hold on. I don't know the route for this one. Uh let me quickly retry. But yeah, for two and three, that's also why I'm doing the playthrough again. I'm gonna go for the fucking things first. Probably wrong, but as you can see, the time is ticking down, and when we do it again, the time is actually ticking up. Yeah, I think this is the wrong thing. Like, you get gems uh, from everything that you... Like, it's five, dif four different things, I think. You have these little train things. You have the rings that you have to fly through. You have these things in the air, the planes that you have to kill. And usually, you have, like, a line where you can do it in a fast way. You don't have a supercharge here? That's okay. That's something. If you fall into the water, obviously the stage is over. Okay, that's all. Now we can decide what to do next, but I think... We're just gonna fail this. Yeah. I just quit. Retry. I'm gonna go right. And do... And fly through the rings first. It's probably the right one. We also have the chests. And that's all. Also, obviously, flying levels are the ones where we can literally fly. We don't glide, we just have permanent fly. Permanent flyage. I could say in these ones, Spyro is pretty fly. Ah. Also, burn some of these for good measure. Uh, it's definitely also wrong, because usually you finish the last one and it goes immediately into the next, like, collectible, whatever you want to call it. Oh boy. That's so wrong. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, one more. gonna go this way not following them but actually going into their direction the wrong way so we just approach them faster <clears throat> and then we have one more which is like the treasure chests that we have to uh, destroy which were right here Go on. And two. Three. Definitely the wrong line. Good enough, though. Uh, why is there a check next to the barrels? Alright. Made it. So those are the flying levels. They're pretty much the same in every single one. Uh, we also have, like, orb missions in that in Spyro 2, but we get to that when the time comes. For now, we only have Spyro 1. Yeah, we have all the skill points here. We have two, three, three in Peacekeepers, which is the next overworld. What are those? Perfect, okay. Six Norks into tents. Burn Hidden Painting. We'll see. We'll see. And also, when we do all the skill points, we unlock some art, which is kind of cool. So now, also the dialogue has changed for this guy. Now that we have opened the thing. As you can see here. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now. If you feel you are ready. I be ready like that. Toasty! Let's go. Would have been perfect for Halloween this guy. As you see in a second. <clears throat> <Are we're coughs> Sorry. We're missing a couple of uh, gems in the overworld, but... I think they are actually at the balloon guy. That brings us to the next world. 
But here we have like the perros that we have to torch twice in order to fucking hate these things. In order to completely kill them. What the f what? That guy's a beast. <laughs> oh, all right. He's not aware. There we go. That's how you. That's how you're doing it. Nice. Okay, it was a little bit confizzled at the beginning, but now I think I understand. I understand them. Oh, I wanted to get almost. I wanted to get both with one flash. He didn't hit me, I think. So I don't know what he was like on about there. Two with one? Nope. Oh, oh, yeah, of course you home in. What the hell? So now we don't have sparks, so... Jesus. Uh, we don't have sparks, so we have to collect the gems ourselves. Um, let's see if we have a critter here somewhere. Uh, well, there's one right in front of the boss, but not here, apparently. Dun, 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 dun. So I have to be careful here. I think I'm going to go to to the critter. And these guys just fucking like aimbot towards you for some reason. Check out the attack. Yep. There's the boss. Looks way better than, than in the original, gotta say. I thought it was a critter there, though. Probably in the OG. And that was an iframe. Some art here, also. Nothing from uh, Sparrow 2 yet, so that doesn't break the immersion. Oh, no, never mind. There's uh, Autumn Plains from Spyro 2. Never mind. This could be Glimmer? Sorta. Mm, yeah, this is obviously the artisan world, the one, the, uh, the old world that we are in at the moment. Ah, artisan world where the balloon guy is. Artisan rep. Oh shit! Artisan represent. Stupid perros. Still not dead yet. We have a couple of a couple more perros to take care of. I think we only have 100. Yeah, we have one more gems here. One dragon. And that particular dragon is right here. And it's Nevin. Nived. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. <laughs> Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Mm, and a couple other things too, but we're gonna see that in a second. Okay, one perro. Should be of no issue for Spyro. Be careful. Okay. That's number one. That's actually his idle animation. That's actually pretty fucking dope. Okay. Only has that idle animation. There's a particular one in the OG. Oh. Which I thought they actually just copied. But they didn't, sadly. Okay. There we go. That's the actual boss. And now he can he also has a different attack. I can flame two at the same time somehow. Okay. Uh, he's ready. Man mode. <clears throat> also, no critters in this level, apparently. For more gems, there could be two green ones. We are going green. 
That's it. Keep it 100. Nice. And that is the entirety of the first... Yeah. Of the first overworld, Artisan Worlds. Obviously, we have uh, 23 more gems in the overworld to get. And then we have concluded everything. And now we definitely need a Sparks again. <laughs> uh, how far away are we from... I can't see it, sadly. Ah, there we go. Ah, like three more orbs, and then we have another le another extra guy. Okay, one more. And there we go. Okay. Rest of the gems should be here. Yep, exactly. 100 out of 100. And here we have everything 100% completed. All of the skill points, all eggs, all dragons. Let's go to the second overworld. Wow, I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Yeah, I would Are like that. Ready to go? Let's go to Peacekeepers. <laughs> Got all 1k in the first overworld and on to the second. And it might be called Peacekeepers. But I have a little bit of a a little bit of a problem, it seems. And also Peacekeepers is home to some of my favorite worlds. Um in the from the first spiral, obviously. 